Hello, this is Rex, and uh, I'm very excited because after a long time of waiting, we finally have the first look, the release date, and now teaser trailer for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022 movie. The teaser poster was first introduced in like mid-2020 or late-2020, saying 2021 it would come out and of course it got delayed um and then we were told it was being delayed until 2022 but first quarter but the, sh the, the there's been so many issues about this movie already is the fact is all the controversy or more like not really controversy but like discussions about oh the test screenings were shit and then the director said no they weren't or director or producer said no they weren't they actually were really good well, if they were really good, then why did the film get yanked out of a theatrical release? And uh, why is it being dumped on Netflix in now uh, confirmed re release date of February uh, 2022, late February? Um, I don't know. But uh, the first picture we got looks absolutely fucking awesome. I love the look and the feel of it overall. And the setting looks absolutely awesome. Um, the, 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 the thing about this and what everybody's saying, because people are already complaining about everything they possibly can. Another timeline. Yes, Karen, another timeline. Would you rather keep the, uh, Trey Songs timeline? I don't think so. The do your thing cuz timeline? No. Look, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, th there's a lot of issues with this stuff. What this movie is doing, this new movie coming out, is erasing every movie in the franchise except for, of course, the original. Sound familiar? Yes, because that's just exactly what Halloween did with the Halloween 2018 movie that wiped out every single movie except for the original. Um, so, it's decades after the events of the first film, and now our the, the survivor from the first film is fighting... An older Leatherface. That's exactly what, you know, we have Sally Hardesty versus old Leatherface. Just like in Halloween, we have old Jamie Lee Curtis versus old Michael Myers. Um, but unfortunately, this one, we can't have the original Sally because Marilyn uh, Burns passed away. But Jamie Lee Curtis is still very much alive. Um, but people are complaining, how is a 60, almost 70-year-old Leatherface going to chase these 20-year-old kids down the... Well... He didn't say that about Michael Myers. Michael Myers has got to be in his late 60s in the new movie. But he's doing pretty damn good. So I don't see much of a difference. What uh, I don't care much for is seeing Leatherface dig out the same exact chainsaw he had in the original film. Just like Michael Myers digs out the same exact mask in the Halloween movie. Which he also did in the remake. Um, there's just a lot of repeating things that bug me. Um, but I read something, I read something on Instagram that kind of pissed me off or bothered me was somebody said, oh, I read an early script. They could have rewritten it, but I heard something about these kids by the town that Leatherface lives in. And that whole thing sounded horrible. And I really hope that that's not what the plot is. It doesn't, it doesn't have anything to do. I don't, I don't know. I mean, the plot was basically that I've seen at least the most of is that this, girl drags her sister who's in a wheelchair to texas on a business trip out of fear of leaving her alone in the big city by herself and they end up near leatherface's or in leatherface's house wherever he's hiding in um but where does the where does marilyn burns come into that picture is, is the what leaves the question uh where does sally hardesty i mean come into the picture um i don't know but I am, I've been on my edge about this movie, wanting to know more about this. The thing is, this now, um, I don't even know what some of the sequels in this franchise consider themselves to be. But you have the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, directed by Toby Hooper, who directed the original. Um, which was a goofy, like, parody of the first film, really. Parody of itself, more or less. Then you had the 2013 sequel, where that wiped out 
every film but the original, and it failed due to the fact that the studio didn't really give a shit about it. They cut the budget, they added really stupid lines, they added actors in there just solely so they would bring in a younger audience, they did a cast casting decisions that didn't make any sense, <clears throat> such as Alexandra Daddario, who's like 25, supposedly be, supposed to be 40 years old. It doesn't make sense. It's 40 years after the events of the original, she would not be that young because she was a baby at the during the events of the original. And this was supposed it's it was supposed to be set in the 90s, but obviously it's not when they're pulling out fucking smartphones. And the, oh god, the fact that they put Trey songs in that movie. So yeah, there's a lot. So that's the funny thing is like, and that Texas Chainsaw 3D that movie came out before Halloween, the Halloween reboot. So I feel like. The people behind Leatherface right now, whoever owns them at this point, is just like, okay, so we failed doing this. How about we copy what Michael Myers did and then and try this again? Because there's too many similarities between the two. But do you want my honest opinion? I don't give a shit. I just want a new, really, 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 really good Leatherface that doesn't have a rapper, doesn't have retarded lines like this. Do your thing, cuz. That doesn't have plot points that make zero sense and accurate casting. And Leatherface not being made out to be an anti-hero and you're having sympathy for him. I want a brutal, ruthless, vicious Leatherface movie that just focuses on Leatherface, not every single family member they can possibly think of, besides Arlie Ermey, because he's awesome, from the uh, reboot. But, so that's what I'm hoping for. They, they copy the um, Halloween idea. I don't give a shit. They clearly fucking did. You can't deny that. But I don't give a shit. Yes, the copying is, is as obvious as The Lion King and Kimba the White Lion. But I don't care. I want this movie and I want it to be really fucking good. I'm pissed that we don't get a theatrical release. So I have to watch it on... I have to get Netflix and watch it on Netflix. Um, and when it does come out, I will review it. But, uh... It better come out on fucking Blu-ray, so help me God. But we're let's go ahead and let's check out this trailer together. I think it looks great. On that, I mean, that trailer doesn't show much. It's a, clearly just a teaser. It doesn't hint at any who any characters really are besides Leatherface. It doesn't give any. Than a Shut up! This holiday it doesn't give any plot points at all whatsoever. But I like the uh, grittiness, the darkness. It's clearly gonna be gruesome. That's what I want. It better have a lot of chainsaw kills. For the love of God, um, you'd be really surprised at the uh, lack of chainsaw kills in a franchise called the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is now the ninth film in the franchise, which is crazy. Um, was, I have a lot of questions that, you know, aren't going to get answered until I see the movie. Um, I'm curious if we'll get any footage, like flashback footage to the first film like they did in uh, 3D. But, uh... 
yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to find out. But I just wanted to do a quick uh, discussion about it because I have been bitching about it a lot. Wanting a goddamn trailer or something for this fucking movie. But we finally have it. it I mean, it got to the point where I'm like, this is never going <laughs> to... This is never going, never going to get anything for this movie. And then while I was at MFF, all of a sudden I saw it. So that's why I didn't make a video a couple days quicker. When it did first come out, I would have, but I was, I wasn't, you know, I was there. So it's fucking hot in here, of course. And I will see you guys in my next video. Murph!